guys welcome back to my channel well what we're going to do today is we're going to make another DIY that is farmhouse incorporating a little French country into it this is going to be so cute I'm hoping okay so let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this project and it's not really hard um, I had my husband build me this big basically picture frame um it's just some plywood that we had laying around the house you can make this any size you want this is actually really nice wood but it came when we got our dishwasher the dishwasher had this wood around it and i was like say that we can definitely use it so i had him build it for me like i wanted so you need some kind of wooden base you could go to walmart and get something there if you want whatever then i'm going to be using my transfer sheets two different kinds um, and i'm going to be using my men wax water-based poly acrylic sealer before i put my transfers on my brush that you all know i love so much uh, i'm going to use some waverly chalk paint in that plaster for some dry brushing then a scissors to cut my transfers and I'm going to be using this brush to do the dry brushing with and then I'm going to be using some Waverly chalk paint in the mineral I have to go get it I almost forgot it I don't know how so let me get everything situated and we'll get started with this farmhouse French country DIY that should be a door okay I'm just going to take my Waverly chalk paint in the mineral and I'm going to put a little bit out on a paper plate I'm not going to be adding any baking soda this time. It looks a little dark. I hope you're able to see. Okay, so I'm just going to get in here and just start painting this. This brush is also really good at getting in corners. I love it. is very you could have I could have sealed the wood before I started um, but I didn't I think this will be a really adorable farmhouse French country sign put this in a Ziploc baggie so it doesn't dry out. I'm going to take a hair dryer to this and then I'll be okay, back. Okay, here is my board. Um, it would even be pretty this way if you wanted to hang it in that direction, but I'm going to hang it up and down. I put one light coat on this uh, and I did it all over. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take my Waverly chalk paint in plaster and I'm just going to pour out a little bit of this. I don't need a lot. Then I'm going to take this brush right here. I got it. I've had it for a while and I bought it where I bought my other brush. And I'll put the link in the description box. I'm just gonna Get a lot of this off. I hope I have enough off. And I'm just going to start coming right down through here like this. Okay? And maybe add a little more right there. Okay? 
You can do as much or as little as you want. I just want to give it just a little look of age and I'm just slightly overlapping. I don't think I got as much on this brush. Slightly overlapping and coming down here to the bottom. in some corners that's okay by me just whatever you want to do like I said so many times as long as you are happy that's really all that matters and I'm gonna Hit this in places right along through here. And I'm just gonna come down through here like this. I really am liking the effect this is giving. And I'm not using a ton of paint, but I'm getting the look that I want. Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing down these sides. I'm just going to pull it. And I'll go ahead and do this bottom one since I'm here. And this will dry really quickly since I don't have a lot of paint on it and I've already dried the other with my hair dryer. I am loving how that's looking, okay? So I'm going to go wash this brush and then, and you could even layer different colors if you wanted, but I don't want to do that, but that's what we're getting so far. And you could even add more down through here if you wanted, um, like right in here. I might add a little bit more right there. Just so that this doesn't start and stop, that's kind of bothering me where it's sort of started and stopped. I want it to look like it's more continuous, okay? So, like I said, I'm gonna go wash this brush, then I'm gonna take it outside and use this Min Wax Water-Based Poly Acrylic Protective Finish, and then we will come back and start using these two sets of transfers, and I think this is going to be Okay, here it is. It's dried. Um, that stuff does dry really quickly, although it does have a slight smell. Not as bad, I guess, as it could, okay? So, now I'm going to get in this um, IOD transfer sheet, and this is the wallflower one. And each one of these comes with this little stick to apply it. This one I'm really excited about because it has so many beautiful transfers. You can put this on furniture, you can cut them. I mean, just look at all this. It's gorgeous and I love the colors. It just looks so happy to me. Very farmhouse French country. You can see it just keeps going. And like I've said before, I like it that they have the grid, okay? So we're going to be using that. And then I picked up, I'm addicted, what can I say? Label ephemera, okay? Now this is retiring. Oh, I wish it wasn't, but it is. 
and it comes with its own little stick too. But look at what all is on this. What you can do, and you can cut these out separately. Just look at that. It's all these words and pictures. It's gorgeous. So, I'm going to have a lot of fun trying to figure out what I want to do. And you want to keep these transfers on this backing until you're ready to use it. So I think what I'll probably do is just put down my flowers first. So let me figure out what I want to do and then I'll... Okay, there's so many options, it's hard to choose. But I'm... Okay, I'm pretty sure I know how I want this. So I'm taking my backing off of this and I'm just going to drop it kind of right where I think I want it. I think, the, uh, I think this is going to be gorgeous, okay? And then I'm just going to start applying this. Now you don't want to put it down unless you know that's where you want it. And you want to hold it with one hand while you apply with the other hand. Look and see if it's okay. I still need to work right here. Ugh, it's gorgeous. If it doesn't come off in a spot, just put it back down. And there you go. Just peel it up slowly. This is gorgeous. Okay, once you get that on there, then I'm just gonna cut a piece off of this to make it more manageable. And just burnish this on even better. Okay, and this is what we're getting. I know it's hard to see. This is what we're getting so far. Love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now, let me see where I wanted these. And this is totally up to you what you do. This is going to be so adorable. You could put as much or as many flowers on here as you want. I mean, it's really up to you what you do. I think I'm going to put this one on next. Same principle. Just be really careful that you don't touch that backing because it is sticky and you don't want your transfer to come off where you don't want it. Okay, then I'm just going to rub it down. And you'll catch a little air pocket and just keep pushing on that air pocket. to it 
because you don't want to leave any of your transfer behind. <laughs> okay, and we will just burnish this one. That's what we're getting so far. Let me take these off and look. I may not want to put all this on here. I'm kind of liking this. So gorgeous. Now let me see, do I want to put maybe something right here at the bottom? I really do like that. Oh, I wish I could hear you all. <laughs> mm, what do I do? What do I do? Do I put this here? Or do I put this up here or here? Okay, I think I'm going to try it right here. Oh. Press down. Okay. Uh, we're gonna stop right here. All right, let me just. Okay. Now you could stop right here. I know it's hard to see. This is the top. You could stop right here. I think this is beyond gorgeous, okay? But I think I want to use some of that label ephemera. So let's see, I've cut some pieces off. Let's just see what we... Remember, you can layer these if you want. I don't know if I want to add that over there or not. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this image right here. It's probably hard to see. And I want to put it right there. Okay, then we'll burnish this down. This is what we're getting so far. I'm so sorry you're having trouble seeing, um, but it looks like this so far. I love that. I may only put one other thing on. Okay, I've decided what I want to do. So I'm going to take this while it's still on its little protective backing and cut this really close. Now let me see where I want it. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. I'm loving this. Oh my gosh. Okay.
well here it is I love it now with my other one I took a very light grit sandpaper and sand it over this to give it a distressed look and it doesn't hurt it at all it actually complements it but I think this time I might keep mine like this I don't know let me go get some sandpaper and we'll look I never can make up my take some sandpaper to it very fine grade and that's what I'm going to do just to kind of make it look a little more warm Well, here it is. I love this and it's so easy to do. Now, I know it's impossible for you to see it right here. I'll try to show you up close in a minute, but I'll take you in there into my utility room and let you see it setting um, in there until I get it hung. But you can put as much, I have pendant lights, so I have to be careful, but you can put as much or as little on there and you don't have to distress it if you don't want to but I think it really brings out the character of the piece if you distress it look at that so pretty I just I really do I love this stuff I am beyond obsessed so if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out on YouTube and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I will see you Monday for a Cricut DIY. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And then Tuesday we'll be back to our DIYs. So let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. Well, here is the baby. She, she had herself the perfect little nest made in there uh, on the couch. She had her blankets wrapped all around her and her head was down in it, but it always has to be elevated. Doesn't it? Does it always have to be elevated, your head? Yes. Say hello. Say hi. <laughs> all right, so let's go see how this looks in my utility. Well, here it is. I love it. But you know, I think I might put some more writing on that because it kind of seems like it needs something. I'm not sure yet. But look at that, how beautiful that is. You can really see where I sanded it. It looks hand painted. Possibilities are endless. I think I need to sand that, those words right there. A little more I love that so pretty I absolutely am obsessed with this stuff it is so easy to do but I love the effect that it gives you so just hand painted like originals I love them so until next